Hello, my dear friends. This lecture, we are going to clear the numerical on the static and dynamic balancing. Under this, we are going to learn for numerical. Let me tell you this numerical is what? Is the numerical. We'll read the numerical first. These are pulleys. A, B, C are mounted. Here are three mount They are mounted sharp pe. And this distance between A and B and A and C is given respectively 1200 and 900 millimeter. Pulleys A, B, C have weights respectively they are given, but it is in Newton. And center of gravity at the distance of 25 and 20 millimeter respectively. The axis of rotation from the axis of rotation. Bearing supports supporting the shaft are located 1.65 meter apart. Equidistance from the pulley A and C. Find the angular positions, position of the center of gravity of various pulleys so that static balance is achieved. Here given condition was static balance, balance is achieved if you know the angular position of those pulleys. Next condition is what? Here it is desired to place weights at a radial distance 400 millimeter. So that what will happen? Dynamic balancing is achieved. This is the condition what this one is given. If the weights are to be placed in a pulley A and pulley C, we have to find the magnitude and angular position. This is the numerical always it is given in the form of this text. We have to represent this numerical in the form of the, the angular position of masses which are having rotating in different planes and the arrangement of this longitudinal position. First we see in half numerical, what is given in this numerical? Axial distance between A and B. A and B axial distance is given, correct. You have to draw like this diagram, the arrangement, longitudinal arrangement of masses. Here what is happened? A and B distance is given, yes given. A and C is given, this is 1.2, yes 1200 millimeter means 1.2 meter. After that the pulley ABC have weights, these weights are given in Newton, we will see later on. This is the distance is 25, these are distance are here given 25, here 10 millimeter, we convert it into meter and 0 0.01 meter, 0 0.02 meter, like this it is converted. Friends here, second condition, find the angular position of center of gravity of various masses, we have to find out the position, this theta c and theta b e, we have to find out if the assumption is that theta a is where we consider 0. This angular position we have to find out here. It's very easy to find out this position. You have to first draw this diagram. These two diagrams are important after reading this problem. In second condition, we'll see how to draw this diagram or how to solve the numerical. So friend, we'll start the numerical. What is the given data? These masses are given to you. Radius is also given, that is the center of gravity. We are given in Newton, we are converted by dividing in, divide by 9.81. Similarly, MB, MC, RB, RC, these are center of gravity distance and we are converted into meter and this is in kg. Here, these values are converted. This is the Diagram are drawn here, but we don't know the position of this MB. MB we, we know the weight of MB, we know MC we know, but we don't know the theta C and theta B. This we have to find out. How to find out this one? We'll see here. This is the uh, longitudinal arrangement of masses. These the two diagrams once we draw, then we will understood the how to solve the numerical. For this, how do we go? We, Two types of the numerical we have to hear is distribution of numerically, two types, that is static balancing and the dynamic balancing. Under the static balancing, first we have to go for the force polygon. So why force polygon? Because already it is mentioned the, the balance, uh, static balancing is, is there. So we have to go for the static balancing. We will get the directly the angular position we have to find out. And here we go for the first force polygon. In first polygon, what we have to do? First, we have to prepare this table. 
display pass already we had calculated radius how to find out the force here we have to find out is this table we have to prepare the table force we have to find out in this force fa is equal to multiplication of this ma into ra you will get the this value v a 23 what is the unit kg into kg meter kg meter that is the unit this angular position we don't know so here we are assuming the zero first one similarly we have to multiply m into r mb into rb will get the fb mc into rc multiplication will get the fc like this we have to prepare the table and after preparing the table we have to find out the angular position or we have to go for the first first force polygon here what will happen how to get these values this given in kg per meter we have to draw force polygon means one graphically we have to solve it we have to convert this 3823 kg meter into millimeter how to convert it by using the scale the scale is what 1 millimeter considering the scale is 0.01 kg meter for 1 millimeter this much kg how much millimeter for 3823 this fa we are considering for fa this fa we can represent by using the vector oa and cross multiplication 1 into 0.38 1.01 38.23 mm we to draw one line which is of the this uh, this much distance 38.23 and that vector is oa along this direction why we be given here they may in this side okay so here we know this angular position of a only because we are assume assume it as a zero so we don't know the position of this b and c also for this purpose we know the values of fb and fc so what we have to do just if you want to go to draw we don't know theta b so what we have to do we have to just draw here like a, we know the distance just mark here line as in compass that is a is equal to this one fb here and after that draw a line with compass is distance equal to fc how to convert this already i have told you just connect this point this b point here to the a b point with the o that will be the fc and fb so what is the purpose to do this we have to get the angular position it will be your becomes here the b and this value i will show you here this will be a theta b and this position from this horizontal line that will be theta c that will give the value theta b and theta c and it will becomes 1 7 2 1 4 next condition is what to get the solve the by using dynamic balancing we have two types of the polygon we have to solve first is the couple polygon in couple polygon why to go for couple polygon that is, i will show you here this is the table here all the planes are there means the three rotating masses a b c are there the all details already were drawn we have to prepare second table mass we have to write radius we have to write and the force we have to calculate here distance we have to add new what is in that before the table table 1 and table 2 difference is what here distance per added and this given in numerical so multiplication of this that will give the this one that is the mrl this is the l and this is the mr so mrl gives the ca that is the couple couple add couple b cb cc these are the values for the couple here see here here all the values we know so as this system is balanced we can draw the couple polygon and we'll get the couple polygon and step by step by considering the scale couple polygon we can get it the cb cc and just we know that the couple polygon we have to complete the couple polygon because the for complete couple polygon must be closed it must be closed because it is given 
propyl polymer, the static uh, condition is achieved by closing it, you get it the balance system. Here, here, CPC is the value, get the proper polygon, and this is connected by the dotted line, and measure this distance, CBC, we get the value of CBC. Before going to this one, after this, second condition, I want to just give the idea of second condition. Here, the beds are to be placed in A and C. Right? In second condition, what? The another weights are, why we to add the weights to get the dynamic balancing, achieve the dynamic balancing, weights are added. After adding this, what will the magnitude and angular position we to find out? This is the distance at the new weights are added, what will be new theta BA and theta BC we to find out. At A, somewhere here, the weight is added, new weight is added, correct? At a distance of 0.4. This uh, distance weight is added, but due to this model happen, the get change. The table to get changed. We don't know the now the mass MBA MBC because new weight is added. We know the, don't know the weight. Radius we know these are the given data ABC. I account to this, the force we don't know. The one, this one, the second. In that way, the degrees we don't know. At what position there is a debate about to place it. Four unknowns are there. Four unknown in this case. If two, any two unknowns are there in total table, we can calculate by using the double polygon or the force polygon. How to solve this problem? So in this case, you can see this couple column. Here what will happen? Only one unknown is there. So go for this couple polygon. So couple polygon for the dynamic balancing. Similarly, uh, call it using this one. Just convert this to scale. One millimeter point zero zero point zero one kg meter square and swallow it. We get the TV we know. Right. After that, parallel to draw a line which is parallel to this MB. This line, we have to draw a line here. And that CC, that theta C, already we know value of theta C or CC. In previous, a uh, couple of polygon calculated this CC, that value of theta C we know. Then this couple polygon is not completed. So to complete this polygon, just connecting this couple polygon, that will be become your CBC. Because here couple for this A is zero. So because we are considering here reference plane at A. Correct? Here what will happen? The reference plane is connected A, the CBC. For complete couple polygon, it must be closed. So summation of all the couples become zero. Whatever the distance, just calculate this distance, and that distance become the value to obtain this distance become the CBC, that is 36 millimeter. We get it. This 36 millimeter become a with angular theta BC at an angular theta BC 351. And what will happen here? T. Convert this 36 millimeter into again by multiplying the scale. We get the value that 0.36 MB is equal to 36 into 0.01, that is your scale. Hence, the MBC becomes 1 kg. In this case, the MBC, we got the value of MBC. Now, put the value here in this table, the MBC becomes 1, and we can calculate the value of this MBC. So, once we find out the value of MBC, this CBC also we can find out. Once the MBC will find out, no for go for the force polygon. Here what will happen? The two conditions are there. New weight is added. The problem, this is the difference in all numericals than this numerical. Here the weight is added. The two, you can see two reference plane. 
This is for first condition, and this is for second condition. This reference plane we have to consider. By considering this reference plane, already we have calculated the value of CBC, correct? By considering the second condition, the second condition we are considering the reference plane and DCA. This is for the first condition. We go for the first condition. All the values are known to us. But for second condition, the values of this MB we don't know and theta B we don't know. Here we got the values of MBC and theta BC. Just now we are calculated by using the couple polygon. Now to get these two values, remaining values, we have to go for the fourth polygon. By using the scale, we have to draw the first polygon. And first we draw the first polygon as per this first condition here. You can see first polygon is drawn, correct? Remaining in second condition, that will happen where it is attached. So that weight is shown here by drawing a line, okay, is at the angular position theta BC. Okay? This line is draw first with the distance of this 0.4, okay, with the distance of this the BC. Yeah. B, B, right? and, B, C. and by using the scale, we have to draw. Okay? And we know this theta BC. According to this theta BC, we have to calculate the uh, draw this line that will be from 0 to this D. This D once we draw, what will happen? This force polygon is not closed. Close this force polygon. Again, we have to connect with the O. How it will connect? Same line on the same line we have to draw with direction is opposite direction. So it will get connected. Here it is drawn the red color line with the arrow towards the O. Correct? And our arrow towards the O. So this will be close the force polygon. This will close the force polygon and measure this distance OD that is a vector DO. Vector DO. Here, obtain where what we obtain this angle theta BA we obtain here this one 171 and measuring the DO vector DO this DO vector correct 40 millimeter into scale and which is equal to this 0.4 into MBA 2.4 into MBA here is what MBA correct 40 into 0, 01. So MBA becomes 1 kg. So friend, this way we got it the theta BC, MBC and theta BA and MBA after adding the weight at a distance of 0.4.5. These are two conditions. So friends, this way you have to solve and you have to draw all the diagrams. A couple polygon, first is the first polygon, after that couple polygon, after that again first polygon. With addition of second condition. This way you have to solve the numerical. It is very easy. This numerical is not available in all the books. So if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe to the academy. Thank you very much.